Hey everyone, I'm Ben. And I'm Sam. And this is Counterfeit Christianity. We almost made a mistake again. We were having a conversation before we recorded it. We should learn from our mistakes. And now we'll probably forget everything. <laughs> what are we talking about? Uh, I forget already. Uh, Shit. Let's go over here. <laughs> um, no, so... That, so I'm gonna, worship. Yeah, yeah, worship. And I want to start this uh, conversation with a question. We already know the answer, so we're cheating. But if I say worship, what would you? what's the first thing that pops into your mind? Yeah, right? In church, putting your hands up, singing. Yeah, singing, right? That's People, what we've been told is worship. Like, if you ask a Christian what is worship, they'll say singing a song in church. Or, not necessarily in church, but singing a song to God. That's what worship is being reduced to. I mean, it's, that is a form of worship, yep. I think, if it's between you and God. If it's on an yeah. individual level, yeah. Like, I guess with church, it gets a bit funny because you're like, do I need to act like everyone else? Is this, <laughs> am I really in the spirit? We talked am about I, that. Am I really, am <laughs> on I our really bar video. speaking in yeah. tongues? Like... I think yeah. most of what people do, they, they think they're doing something right, but they're not really. Yeah, um, it's just following the leader. And that's like, and we learned on our bar video, if you haven't watched it, go and watch our bar <laughs> video. And the other one, we talked about that. That is how bar worshippers worship that's Baal. That's true, we did because talk about that. Baal, what they would say is like, God, do what I say. And, if, and to make him do what I say, I raise my hands, I yell and scream, I cut myself. I Well, then if you do that, then people aren't going to wonder what worship is mm. and then do it right, right? Yeah. Because you've given them a counterfeit example and said, this is worship, do that. Yeah. And while they're doing it, they're never going to be like, oh, well, worship is actually, you know, being real. Yeah. Worship is, hey, you walked past that hungry person, you bought them a sandwich. Yeah. Or, you know, that that sad person in your life who needs a bit of comfort, you went around the house and gave them, mm. you know, had a coffee with them and exactly. gave them some, some words of support yeah. or just gave them your, your company. Yeah. You know, that is an act of worship. Yeah. And s- doing this in church in front of everyone being showy is more self-serving, whereas I think worship is not self-serving. It's being selfless. It's being real with someone. Yeah, exactly. Well, what, what are the other thing I want? Because you want to, too. Yeah, exactly. Not because I should. I'm going to do a selfless act exactly. because I'm so selfless. It's, yeah. Oh, actually, I want to go talk to Timothy over there because he looks sad. Yeah, it's like what we were saying before. My heart tells yeah. me that he's sad and exactly. I need to make him feel better. It's That's, like that an act of love is worship. Right, while we're on the way, focusing on God, then he leads you into these things. It's like that is how worship comes about, right? It's like when you connect, really connect to God, you're like, you have these feelings. That's legit. Yeah. And, and it's, it's yeah. much, I think, more pure to do it as an individual yeah. rather than in some ways do it behind the banner exactly. of an organization because yeah. then it becomes about, oh, we're just, we're just the people who help the hungry. <laughs> I know. We're amazing. Yeah. yeah. I know. Just tell, stop, <laughs> stop with the praise, please. You know, like, I think it's more genuine yeah. when it's one-on-one. Exactly. And it's real. Like, yeah. I mean, there are great organizations who do stuff that maybe no one else would. They do good things, I don't yeah. want to bash them, but I want to bash the idea that the concept of it is more important than the person you're helping. Exactly. You know, but for, it's all about yeah. the person. Everything yeah. is always about another person yeah. with God. Everything for, is about another being who can feel, think, see, smell. All that sort of stuff. Yeah. yeah. For example, like we were talking before, um, somebody popped into my mind today. And I'm like, oh, I have a feeling that they might be feeling something today or feeling bad. So I'm like, I sent them a message. And it's like, that's part of, that's connected to being, because I'm worshiping, worshiping God by just being real with these other people. And I mean, we set I our guess conversation. If, if you're on the way with God, as we like to say, and you're with yeah. God, it's not like you go out of your way to do something different as an act of worship. It's just something you would do in the course yeah. of who you are. Yeah. And even our, what we're doing today, we, intentionally go and hang out with each other and we have a reason we're, ha- we're hanging out for these videos but we spend a lot of time just chatting and it's like this is our chat but we just film it but it's yeah, like this is we'll, worship we'll just talk for an hour and a half we're like oh we should probably turn the camera on <laughs> oh you got here at like 10 you did get here at like 10 it's like 12 42 <laughs> <laughs> really yeah what the yeah, heck been that's been here like three well. hours <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had no idea but it's like yeah i want to help everybody understand that what the church is doing, this religious institution, is f***ing with your mind. They're saying, this is worship and only this is worship. Come to us, sing a song to God, this is worship. And whatever you do outside of this place, doesn't matter. Do whatever you want. You can be an absolute piece of shit to anybody. It doesn't matter. Then come back here and worship God. Well, that's another another concept in itself, yeah. isn't it? Where, you know, you validate someone to be a certain way in a certain place. That's like um, you're teaching them that. You're uh, gaming them. Yep. You're, you're teaching them to, oh, in this place you can be this way. Yep. Um, and then out here, you'd be this way. Yeah, and we know that some that, of these that, guys are intentionally doing that. They, that. they know what they're doing. I mean, that prevents you from ever having a relationship with God, right? Yeah. That's a great strategy. If you're the yeah. enemy and you want to prevent people 
um, knowing God than prevent them having a proper relationship with yeah. Him by misdefining worship. Yeah. And then, and then it becomes a sacred cow because then there's this person that's like, oh, look at her. She's such a great worshiper. Wow, it works on a lot of levels, doesn't it? Yeah. Look for, at her. For she's, our enemy. Yeah. She's standing up on that stage. She worships God. She knows the truth. Oh, look at her. She's, she's so into it. And it's mm. like, yeah, right. So it sets a bad example too. Mm-hmm. And then like so everyone else were, feels bad. If you're being legit, then you'd be seeing real examples. Yeah. That really lead you into knowing yeah. God better and knowing people better. Yeah. And you see these great worshippers in church, they're up there and then their life is turmoil and chaos mm. and nothing they do in real life matters. Yeah. I guess you have a few different characters up there, don't you? You have the people who are pretending to be uh, perfect in front of everyone else and everyone else is looking at them feeling inadequate. Yep. And then, like you said, that person is actually, their life's a mess. Mm-hmm. The Hillsong um, is a giant, we talked about that before. Hillsong is a massive example of that. Mm. It's like they're up on stage and like, oh God, singing their songs. And it's like, oh, look how worshipful and beautiful yeah. their worship is. It's like, well, that's one archetype. And then you have someone else who is probably, you know, quiet and shy and they really believe yes. um, that this is how they connect to God. And then maybe they're, they're trying and that it's not getting anywhere yep. because they're using the wrong method. Exactly. Yeah, well, they've been taught yeah. that um, that what they're doing is how you worship God, but they're not getting it out of it. it. Must be something wrong with them. That that is interesting because that is the There's only, nothing wrong with them. Yeah, I, I, that is the reason that I ever went to church when I was a kid, and because I played bass and it, like it it was. I, I didn't do it as worship. I did it because I liked playing bass. <laughs> and it's like, for me, that was worship. And you worship. know what? Yeah. God probably enjoyed it more that you liked playing the yeah. bass than wanting to go yeah. there and be religious. Well, what I did, because I, I worked at a bakery as well, so I was like awake all night, come and play bass. I'd play bass, and then I'd sit in the chair and fall asleep. <laughs> it's like, that's probably and the religious like, people be like, how dare you fall asleep while talking to God? How disrespectful. <laughs> and God's like, ah. Yeah. Oh. Benny had a nap. <laughs> He's I like, love that's ben. actual worship, right? Yeah. He's like, sleep when you need to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun playing the bass. Yeah, 100%. God would be happier <laughs> yeah. with what you did. Yeah. And the religious people would be like, you just don't have commitment. That's why you didn't get up early enough. And why you didn't play, the, play it long enough. You have dishonored God. And God's like, have a sleep, Benny. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> exactly. You know, like, that's, that's the difference between religion yeah. and God, right? Everything they say... Everything that these religious Christians say is the exo- exact opposite of truth, and it's so fun. And then the world tries to sell your truth as a lie. It's, yeah. it's a pretty simple benchmark, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly, yeah. But Real, a- vulnerable, uh, okay with talking to people and spending time with someone, uh, just being yourself, and the, that's worship. And the fruit of it has to be love to another person, genuine love, humble love, not... Uh, no sacred cows attached. Not ego. Not yeah. about how great can I look. I mean, there's there's um, a verse about that too. You know, that God says, you know, when you give to someone, um, don't let the left hand know what the right is doing. You yeah. Know, which proverbially means, you know, do it quietly. Yeah. Because if you do it in front of everyone, then you, you've already received a reward. You yeah. Didn't, you didn't do it as an act of worship. You did it as an act of pride. That's it. Worship is your life. It's who you are. It's who you are designed to be. Be who you are meant to be, who God made you to be. The problem with the world is men not being men, right? So if we are able to do what we're designed to be, that idea is also worship. Be who you were designed to be. And also at the same time, have faith to trust in God that he will get you what you need. And it's like that is that is worship as well. That's also, I think, the way God tests how your relationship is going. Yeah. You know, and not to test and condemn you, but to to test and grow you. Yeah. You know, is, are you really believing in me? Are you really finding your um, security in me? Or are you pretending to find that in me, convincing yourself and then actually attaching it to something else? Yeah. Which is what a lot of Christians do. You know, mm-hmm. they, I believe in God. I, I'm a believer. I believe that Jesus died on the cross and et cetera, et cetera. And they're holding their Bible like this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's like, well, can I question that thing? No. Mm. And it's like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Worship is life. Worship God with who you are and not what they're telling you is worship can be on an individual level. Do what's in your heart and if you feel like you're going out of your way to do something that doesn't feel right, mm. reassess where your heart's at because it's, it's more about where your heart is and what comes out of your heart uh, being a human being than it is being yeah. a human doing yeah. and having your heart here but your actions over here trying to pretend to be something else. Yep. Because those two things don't work together, they have no value. Um, and it really has to come out of the heart. So if you find that you can't do things of act, real acts of worship, then you need to work on yourself first. That's probably it, eh? Yeah. All right. Yeah, right. See ya.